Hello everyone, my name is Sophia Seidensticker and I will be presenting on crystalline versus amorphous SiO2. Atoms arrange into solid structures. The way that these atoms arrange determines the type of structure. Crystalline materials have ordered packing. These atoms are assembled in repeating patterns. These materials are typically dense and have lower bond energies. Examples of crystalline materials include metals, many ceramics, and certain polymers. Amorphous or non-crystalline materials lack long-range atomic order. The atom arrangement is seemingly random. These materials tend to be less dense and have higher bond energies. Examples of amorphous materials include supercooled liquids and inorganic glasses. SiO2 is the chemical formula for silicon dioxide, also known as silica. Most silicon dioxides form 3D network solids in which each silicon atom is covalently bonded in a tetrahedral manner to four oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom is bonded to two silicon atoms. Silicon dioxide is a unique substance because it can solidify into crystalline and non-crystalline structures. While the physical properties may differ between the different forms, the chemical properties stay the same. Silica is one of the most complex and abundant families of materials existing as a compound of several minerals and as a synthetic product. Its different forms are used in semiconductors, structural materials, and as components in the food and pharmaceutical industries. Silicon dioxide has many different crystalline structures. It is most commonly found in nature as quartz. Tiny silicon dioxide crystals are common components of the sand found in many parts of the world. Pure quartz is clear, but there are many different colors that can emerge from impurities. Quartz crystals have piezoelectric properties, meaning that it develops electrical potential when mechanical stress is applied to it. Quartz is used in jewelry, electronics, specifically in crystal oscillators, which keep time in watches, and glass making. Here is a 3D model I created of a section of crystalline SiO2. It has a repeating ring pattern. If you follow the mouse, you can see the ring there, and you can also see other rings from different angles. If this model were to continue, you would see rings on all sides. Silica sand is melted and rapidly cooled, forming amorphous silicon dioxide, which is glass. Here is a 3D model of amorphous silicon dioxide. You can see that it does not have an identifiable repeating pattern and has more of a randomized shape. This model is again just a section of non-crystalline silica, so not all of the oxygen atoms have complete bonding shown. The silicon atoms are in gray and the oxygen atoms are in red. Quartz glass or fused silica refers to the amorphous form of pure silicon dioxide. This material has greater resistivity than crystalline SiO2, meaning that it is a better electrical insulator, although both forms are great electrical insulators. Fused silica also has a low, lower uh, refractive index. Light travels faster in materials with lower refractive indices. One thing that makes quartz glass unique is its optical properties. It has a wide transparency range that extends into the ultraviolet and into the near mid infrared. This is one of the reasons why fused silica is a key starting material for optical fibers and is popular for lenses used in lab equipment. It is also used for photolithography and semiconductor fabrication. In summary, silicon dioxide or SiO2 exists in both crystalline and non-crystalline forms. While the chemical properties remain the same across its different forms, the physical properties of silica may vary depending on its solid structure. Quartz crystals and fused silica have uses in various industries due to their unique physical and chemical properties. Thank you for listening. Here are my references.